Hello, this is Bruce Cohen coming to you live on Facebook today from the Texas-Mexico border. Behind me you can see the famous river that uh, people are known to cross to get into the United States. In certain parts it's no more than five or ten feet wide. And um, over here you can see a suburban from the uh, U.S. Border Patrol in the background. And I'm standing right next to the bridge where people are walking into Mexico. And on the other side of the bridge is where people will be walking back into the United States. And after you pass this bridge, there's plenty of open land on the Texas side. And there's the river that runs along the Texas border where people sometimes cross illegally into the United States. Today I'm talking about the Trump administration enforcement along the border. As you can see, in this part of the border there's already a rather large wall. But then again, this is right by the bridge where people go crossing. As you get further, further away from the bridge, there is no wall. So there is a smaller wall. But this is one that's already in existence. Now, the Trump administration has said that they will be hiring 10,000 new border enforcement interior agents in the United States. So these will be interior officers, part of Homeland Security, to police the interior of the United States and to look for people that are um, already in the United States, not people crossing, but already in the United States to round them up for deportation proceedings. And as time goes on and they begin hiring more and more of these officers, you will see them more often around the United States. This past week when I flew from uh, Houston to Harlingen, Texas, I actually saw three Homeland Security police officers at the airport in Houston just as you enter the airport. So I had been telling my clients that it was reasonably safe to be flying within the United States even though you might be on an expired visa or you might have a case pending. But I'm uh, changing that advice for my clients right now in light of seeing the Homeland Security police at the airport. What happens is a lot of people who have been in the United States illegally are trying to obtain legal status. So they may have a case that's already in the system where they're trying to legalize their status. For example, a person from another country who might be out of status here marries an American citizen. Well, if you're married to an American citizen, you can obtain legal status by uh, filing papers with the immigration authorities, with Homeland Security. The issue, though, is that you don't immediately get any status. While you're waiting, while you're waiting for the government to approve your case, which can take a year, sometimes two years, you continue to remain out of status. And according to ICE and to Homeland Security, if you're out of status, you're subject to arrest. And that's even if you have a marriage to a U.S. citizen and you have a case pending, or if you've applied to extend your visa and has not been extended yet. So those people remain out of status until the government has made a decision to approve the case. So this becomes a real problem when uh, those people come in contact with Homeland Security, either at an airport or while pumping gas at a gas station, or wherever they may be, picking their children up from school. If they come in ho contact with Homeland Security and start being questioned by them, if they continue to be out of status and have not had their cases granted yet, those people are subject to arrest. So it's a very serious matter for anyone who, does, who has not completed their immigration case yet. What I've been doing is I've been encouraging those people to carry whatever paperwork they do have. So if they have filed for a visa extension, if they have a marriage case pending, I'm encouraging those people to go ahead and carry those receipts and other papers with them. Um, this is particularly a problem because what happens if they get pulled over by the police? Not necessarily Homeland Security, but by the regular local police. 
And if the police start questioning them about their immigration status, if they will show that they have a receipt for a case pending, then more often than not, at least historically, the police will let them go and not bring any case against them. Well, that's it today from the Texas-Mexico border. And I thank you all for watching today. Have a great day.